For this problem, we want to use the graph of f to determine a, the domain of f of x, b, the range of f of x, c, f of 3, and d, any x values for which f of x equals 2. For letter a, the domain of f of x is the set of all x values within the function. Looking at the graph, we can see that the smallest value of x is 0 and that the highest value of x is 5. This means that x is between 0 and 5. Since the domain is inclusive on both endpoints, we can write this as 0, 5, with brackets on both endpoints. For letter b, the range of f of x is the set of all y values within the function. Looking at the graph, we can see that the smallest value of y is 0 and the highest value of y is 4. This means that y is between 0 and 4. Since the range is inclusive on both endpoints, we can write this as 0, 4, with brackets on both endpoints. For letter C, f of 3 is the value of the function when x is equal to 3. Looking at the graph, we can see that the value of y is 3 when x is 3. This means that f of 3 is 3. For letter D, we want to find any x values for which f of x equals 2. Looking at the graph, we can see that when y is 3, x is 1, 2.5, and 4. So the answer for letter D is that x equals 1, 2.5, and 4.